Surrounded by this modern hospital is the oldest operating room west of Winnipeg and north of San Francisco. A century ago, it was on the cutting edge of a radical new idea that in just a few years reduced surgical fatalities by more than 80 percent. The new idea was antiseptic surgery, pioneered by the British doctor Joseph Lister in the 1860s. Over the next few decades, Lister gradually persuaded people that deadly infections were caused by invisible things called germs and could be prevented by antiseptic methods such as washing hands and sterilizing instruments. A young BC doctor named John Davy helped to design the Provincial Royal Jubilee Hospital, which opened in 1890. Named for the Queen's Golden Jubilee, it was an excellent facility, but like most hospitals of the time, had no operating room. This did not sit well with Dr. Davy, who had become a disciple of Lister's new methods while on a study tour in Europe. Four years later, the new hospital received a bequest from J.D. Pemberton, a pioneer surveyor and legislator in British Columbia. His widow Teresa Pemberton topped up his gift to $3,500 so that a new medical facility could be built in his honor. This windfall quickly plunged the hospital board into a heated controversy. On one side was J.S. Helmkin, one of the province's most distinguished citizens and most influential doctors and a longtime colleague of Pemberton. Helmkin wanted the money spent on a maternity ward while the hospital's medical staff, led by John Davy, urged the board to build an antiseptic operating room. Dr. Davy's view finally prevailed, and the Pemberton operating room opened in 1896. It was essentially a large, freestanding, eight-sided room, 24 feet across, that was separated from the germ-ridden hospital by a 50-foot corridor. Six of the sides had very large windows to provide lots of daylight for the surgeons. Electric lights were added the next year. Lord Lister himself, by then a living legend, made a personal visit and expressed his approval. The new operating room brought a new order of things to the hospital and greatly enlarged the medical staff. The Pemberton operating room made the Jubilee, in effect, the province's first specialized referral hospital. And the board noted that by far the greatest number of major operations in the province take place here. After 1925, when new facilities were built, the Pemberton operating room was no longer used for surgery. It served in turn as a radiation department, a cancer clinic, and storage facility. Vacant now since 1990, it has barely survived several hospital expansions, but is now designated a National Historic Site. While the Pemberton Memorial Chapel next door has been restored, the operating room has not. A medical heritage society is raising money to preserve the building to house a medical museum. With so many lives saved in this room, we're hopeful that its life can be saved too.